Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 10, verses 17 to 19. The Word of God says, Samuel summoned the people of Israel to the Lord at Mizpah and said to them, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. I brought Israel up out of Egypt, and I delivered you from the power of Egypt and all the kingdoms, kingdoms that oppressed you. But you have now rejected your God who saves you out of all your disasters and calamities. And you have said, No, appoint a king over us. So now present yourselves before the Lord by your tribes and clans. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Father, help us to trust in you and you alone. Father, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, beloved, uh, today... Uh, I do not want to sound political. I do not have a really, a truly a political axe to grind in this matter. But too many Christians, I'm not talking about the world, I'm talking about Christians, trust more in government or who's president than they do in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a sad state of affairs. I can go back to... Uh, how many presidents now? I, you know, as a as a Christian, I've seen many presidents. As a pastor, I've seen many presidents. Uh, I've seen uh, churches and Christians just absolutely go crazy because one person isn't elected or one person is not elected. I've seen uh, people uh, go crazy because of a Supreme Court decision that that they think is political and somehow affects the sovereignty of God. Beloved, when we trust more in kings and government and the Supreme Court than we do in God, we are failing. God is sovereign. That means he is in control of all things. He is who we need to trust. Israel probably didn't think they were rejecting God. They just wanted to be like the other nations and have a king that would be in charge of their army and, and everything else. But what does God say? Samuel summoned the people of Israel to the Lord at Mizpah and said to them, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, speaking directly what God tells Samuel to say. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Beloved, one of the signs of the prophet, they speak for the Lord. Ezekiel 3.27 and when I, when I and Ezekiel three twenty seven says, and when I speak to you, I'll open your mouth, and you shall say to them, Thus saith the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that rebelleth, let him rebel, for they are a rebellious house. Beloved, people need to listen to God and trust in God, not government. Governments come and go, whether the president is President Bush. President Clinton, President Bush, uh, President Obama, President Trump, President Biden, they come and go. What we need to do is pray for them, but not put all of our trust and hope in them. Because they are not God. God is God. What does God say? I brought Israel up out of Egypt, and I delivered you from the power of Egypt and all the kingdoms that oppressed you. And beloved, what does God say to us today? I've saved you. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, I've sent Jesus to die for you, to deliver you from death. Trust me. What does God say to Israel? But you have now rejected your God who saves you out of all your disasters and calamities and have said, No, appoint a king over us. So now present yourselves before the Lord by your tribes and clans. You have rejected me, God says. And beloved, when we put all of our trust, all of our hope, in whoever is holding some political office, we are rejecting God because we are not trusting in God. President Trump will not save us into eternal life. President Biden will not save us into eternal life. The Lord Jesus Christ gives us eternal life when we believe that he saved us by the grace of that he poured out on the cross through faith in him. Beloved, let's not keep rejecting God. Let's not in some way trust in princes, 
in kings, in powers to save us. Let's trust God to save us. May God bless you as you go about your day.